<laughs> Go ahead, Reed. It says, and took them away, took them all away. Took them all away. So shall also the coming of the Son of Man. So be. there it is. So all the examples that I was using and things I was just breaking down, that's exactly how it is, man. So these people are, are technically in, in, in the same spirit, but they're in the right spirit, man. Because the Most High is only used for them is to put them to death. And the wicked is reserved for the day of destruction. Well, go ahead, Ak. <laughs> this is uh, 2 Numbers chapter 9, verse uh, 8. So, 7. And everyone that shall be saved and shall be able to escape by his works and by faith, whereby ye believe, ye have believed, shall be preserved from the sad perils and shall be, be seen. So I and shall see my salvation in my land and within my borders, for I have sanctified them for me from the beginning. Uh. And this shall they be in pitiful case, which now have abused my ways, and they that have cast them away despitefully shall dwell in torments. Mm. And those that cast away the words of the Most High shall dwell in torments, man. You know one thing that I think about a lot? Remember the scene in the movie, uh, Immortals? And they fucking had them, uh, bitches. Yeah, in, yeah, in, in, the, in, the, in, in the fucking bull. And they had a flame underneath them. Do you imagine what that would do to your flesh? Just imagine your flesh fucking melting to metal. Slowly. Slowly and slowly, your skin is just bubbling and boiling the fuck off your body and you're still alive, man. All right, we mentioned, uh, uh, concentration camps. That's, that's a main terror. <laughs> but there's no... Saying what the fucking devil's gonna do to you once you're inside that fucking concentration camp, man. Think about the times and the accounts, like this brother was telling me when they had us in slavery, how. Um, runaway slaves? Yeah, 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 come on. Well, you, you can tell it. You can, you can say it. Yeah, like uh, if you were run away, everybody knows about the tar and feather. If you were run away, they'd come back and they would tar and, tar and feather you, or they would uh, have another uh, slave defecate in your mouth. Yeah, man. Do you understand the fucking, uh, the disgusting, fucking sick, uh, uh, piece of shit Esau is, man? So, I mean, we give you the main examples, but you know, this devil has a lot of sh wicked, wickedness up his sleeve, man. You should take into account all his past actions before you disregard the truth. Because he's advancing his wickedness and he's advancing his technology, man. So torment, just meditate on that fucking word, man. Torment. It means what it implies. Go ahead. So, and that's, that's for turning aside the truth. That's for turning away from the truth. That's for turning your back away from the Most High. That's for teaching false doctrines. That's for telling your congregation you could pop your woman in the ass and fucking selling out. 48 laws of power. That's, yeah, going over the 48 laws of power and talking about reptilianism and astrology and the elders and masons and sellouts. Going to these wicked ass niggas, you know? Exactly. Because you're fucking wicked ass niggas. That's, that's, that's it. Second Nessus chapter 9 verse 10. For such as in their life have received benefits and have not known me. Hmm. Have and received benefits and have not known me. Alright? Having a good position in this kingdom. Selling the fuck out. Alright? Because you, you delighted in Esau's dainties. Alright? In his meats. You thought there was a future here in America. Alright? Go ahead. It says, and they that have loathed my law while they had yet liberty. Yeah, yet they had liberty. Because look, if you notice, uh, martial law hasn't been declared yet. All right? You still ain't rounding everybody up and throwing up in a concentration camp. So you're still actively able to go out to the highways and byways. Still able to go to the grocery store. <laughs> you know? You're still able to go on the internet and research. So you got liberty to do these things. 
is a prophecy that specifically speaks on the famine, not of bread and water, but of the word. So you're not going to have the liberty to go to a corner where a brother may be speaking and receive the truth. I'm not, we're not going to have the liberty to go up uh, to the elders and, and watch them speak and teach alongside with the elders, man. Right? Well, you're not going to have the liberty to go to the grocery store, man. go to work. Yeah. Right? The, truth, the truth of all things, though, you know? You're not going to have the liberty to receive that anymore and to get right with the Most High. Is all this shit gonna be shut down? You think we're gonna be out here? We're gonna be in the spirit, Lord willing, surviving somewhere. Man. Being guided like in the movie, The Book of Eli, man. That's what they were portrayed when he didn't really know where he was going. He was just knew how to pres preserve the word, all right? Which we're gonna do. We're gonna preserve the word and wait till the Lord come. There ain't no destination. We don't got a map stating where we know we're gonna go for sure when all hell breaks loose. None of us got a food bank awaiting when times get hard. I don't have a separate fucking uh, uh, stash set aside for when things get rough. I'm just gonna guide in the spirit. That's the only thing you're supposed to do. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. Those that run in, in, under it or run into it are safe. We don't know where we're going to be when that all shit breaks. That's what I'm city. saying. We don't we, know. Because we actually, none of us all live in the city. We all live in different areas. So we could get, you know, all shit can be break loose on a Saturday, all right? And then, you know, we're all going to be together. But, you know, if it happens on a day throughout the week, you know, you got one brother over here, one brother over there. Point is, you got to have faith in Yahweh yeah. Shem Yahweh Shai. And that mercy seat is, is coming to an end, you know? Yeah. It says, Second uh, Ezra chapter nine verse eleven, and they that have loved my law while had, they had yet liberty, and went as yet place of repentance was open unto them. Exactly, because the place of repentance is open up to you right now. You know, we're not just about cursing uh, uh, this place out, like the elders always say. You know, it's not just about cursing out the white man or Esau. You know. We're set up to do a job. We're set up to teach, man. When somebody asks me about a certain thing in the scriptures, man, I love I love being able to uh, uh, break it down to them so that they can understand, you know, and, and further their understanding, man. It's a good thing. It's, it's a rewarding thing to see another brother come into this thing, man. It's rewarding to see that, you know? That's why... Uh, 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 who, 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 it's escaping my mind. Who said uh, my prayer, and my wishes that uh, that all would come to repentance? Was that Paul? Yeah, man, I'm in the same spirit. I, I would, I, you know, the more that come into this thing, you know, that makes me happy. You know, that's my wish, but that's not the reality. Not everybody you meet, and not everybody you conversate with about the truth is going to inherently uh, receive what you're saying in the spirit. They're not going to receive it. So, man, it's part of the will. Go ahead. What's, it's like, uh, and as when, and when as yet place of repentance was open unto them, understood not, but despised it. But despised it, man. Two thirds of y'all, man. You, man, you're two thirds. Hey, what can I say? The same must know it after death by pain. And the, and the same must know it by death through... Read that again, man. It's like, but read that again. The same must know it after death... After death. By pain. By pain, man. Torment. You got a scripture out? So, I mean, that's, that's the reality. You're going to have to know... And live in shame, man. Yeah. Oh shit! Yeah, I don't know if you're paying attention. So. Nah, so I wasn't cut it. What right do you now. got on one? Cut it right now. Yeah. Oh yeah. You got one more. We'll bring out Second Peter. What did you want, Peter? Thirty-five minutes. Uh, okay. Five minutes. It says. Oh, yeah. 
Second Nessus chapter, chapter 9, verse 13. And therefore be not thou curious. Wait, this is for you niggas out there that, that's so emotional about 2 30s dying. Yeah. Uh, Second Nessus chapter 9, verse 13. And therefore be thou not curious how the ungodly shall be punished. Yeah, and, and secondly, all Israel are going to be in the kingdom anyway, man. All Israel are going to be saved, man. Why the fuck you worried about now? They're gonna have to die, man. They ain't in their right state of mind. They have to be put to death. That's the only, that's the only reasonable thing to do. Like our only reasonable thing to do is to serve the Most High and submit ourselves to live in sacrifice. They themselves are gonna become an unwilling sacrifice, all right? They're gonna have to get into the kingdom through death by pain. We, Lord willing, we're the elect, are putting up with the bullshit now and the pain and trials and tribulations now so we can get entrance into the kingdom of heaven through a chariot, man. And escape the torment. Now get second uh, Peter's, the third chapter. Well, read what you got. Uh, uh, you can get it. Second Peter's, the third chapter, start at uh, right around 8. Come with us deep. Therefore, be thou not curious how the ungodly shall be punished and when, yep. but inquire how the righteous shall be yeah. saved. Yeah, inquire about how the righteous, because because that that should be your you, really. You got to work out your own salvation, right? So you gotta you gotta be more concerned with that, not how some uh, 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 nigga that don't know the truth and don't ain't willing to come to the truth to submit themselves to the truth is gonna die. That's an unnecessary matter, man. His fate's already sealed. You gotta be concerned with how you can get right with the Most High, because that's what's in your spirit. Beloved, believe not every spirit. So you can't be concerned with every damn body, man. Just a brother, man. Those that are in the truth with you. Go ahead. He says, Says, but inquire how the but inquire how the righteous shall be saved, mm -hmm. whose the world is, and whom and for whom the world is created. Huh. And for whom the world is created, because the world was created for our sakes. Who's sake? The elect, man. <laughs> so that's what you because if you're concerned with how the righteous shall be saved, you'll come to the understanding of what you need to do that so that the Lord will have mercy on you. You know? Seeking the truth, that's really what it's saying. When you when it says but inquire how the righteous shall be saved, really that's how you can save your life. Through what? The truth. Submitting yourself to Yahweh Shim Shai and doing what's required of you so that the Lord can have that mercy on you, man. And and redeem you from uh, pestilence, plagues, disease. And then ultimately be, del be delivered up in the chariot if you're the elect. Or uh, uh, gaining spiritual power to protect yourself against this devil. Alright? It says, then answer I and say, I have said before and now do speak. And will speak it also hereafter. Mm -hmm. That there be many more of them which perish than of them which shall be saved. And that that's key, man. That's, that's the... That's, an essential point right there. That there's going to be many that perish, but few saved. I mean, that sums up everything. That's more confirmation on the part of the prophecy of the two-thirds. I mean, they're just going to have to perish. Alright, so I'll get Second Peter's now. Alright, we're getting ready to wrap up. It's gonna be the last precept. Second Peter chapter three verse nine. The Lord is not slack concerning his promise. Speak up a little bit. Second Peter three and nine. The Lord is not slack concerning his promise. Uh -huh. And some men count slackness. But it's long suffering to yeah, us. And, and the way certain men count slackness is by going off into other doctrines, man. And getting caught up in in, in, in things that don't matter. You know? Go ahead. The Lord is not slack concerning his promises, and the, and some the, men. And the 
and the Lord's not slack, man. You're not supposed to haste above your maker. See, everything is under the hand of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. He's controlling the time and the events and when they take place. So it's on his time, man. When he wants it to be. The way we take a part and further in this thing is sending the prayers up for the Lord to destroy this place, man. That's our part. Coming out and prophesying. Not getting weary and selling out. And hoping that there might be a chance that the Lord will bring you back into this thing because that's not going to happen, man. That's not going to happen. Uh, we read it earlier, Hebrews, the sixth chapter, the fourth verse, man. Guys speaking against the elders. All right. So some men count slackness. Go ahead. And some men count slackness, but is long suffering to us, Lord, <clears throat> not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. Yeah. Uh, but the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the that's night. That's because I didn't know it was in that verse. Go ahead. But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night. Yep. Yeah. In the which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. Thermonuclear the, missiles. The Somebody earth, got a missile sign up? Uh, no. The earth also, uh, and the, uh, shall I like you? Read, read it again. But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night, in the which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise. This will be the great noise. And the elements shall melt with, a, with fervent heat. Now pan around. The elements shall melt with fervent heat. The earth also, and the works that are therein shall be burned up. Seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved. Come on, and, and, and it says the earth and the things therein also, know that it's not talking about the entire earth, man. All right? Certain parts of the earth are gonna be completely burned up. For instance, America, uh, the land of Israel, all right? different other countries that are sending off them missiles. All right? So certain parts of the earth, because the foundation of the earth stands forever. Okay? The Lord even said, uh, the world made the world to come for few. So there's a world to come after this one's destroyed. And it's going to be a kingdom on, in, 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 on earth, all right? All right. Seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved, uh -huh. <clears throat> what manner of persons ought ye to be in all holy conversation and godliness? Right. Looking for and hastening unto the coming of the day of the Most High. So he tells you. He asks a question, but then he tells you. In case you didn't know. So read what manner of persons you ought to be in. What manner of persons ought ye to be in all, all holy conversation and godliness? Right. Looking for and hasting unto the coming of the day of the Most High. Looking for and coming. Looking uh, for and hasting. Uh, yeah, yeah, turn that around. Read that again. Looking for and hasting unto the coming of the day of the Most so High. So you're supposed to be hasting for this day to come, man. Your, sp your spirit should be continually on fire for this day right here, man. There should be no complacency in your spirit for this fucking bitch Babylon, America, to c keep going. That feeling in your spirit shouldn't fucking exist. Alright? The society, this world, the way it operates and works, Esau fucking still in power? Nah, man. We want that shit all to come to an end. And Lord is coming to bring that to an end. So we're supposed to be hasty, looking for and hasty, looking for and hasty, looking for what? The prophecies that indicate when this might arrive. And hasting for the day of when it actually happens. Read. It says, we're in the, uh, looking for and hasting unto the coming of the uh -huh. day of the Most High, wherein the heavens being on fire shall be dissolved, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. Nevertheless, we, according to his promise, and the elements, the elements shall melt with fervent, intense, intense heat. And I wish the missiles were dropped down on these stupid ass motherfuckers, man. These 
dumbass bimbos, these fucking wicked corporations and businesses. All right. She knows it. All right. These fucking tall ass buildings, man. I wish, I wish the most I would wipe this shit out right now. Huh? Go ahead. Nevertheless, we, according to his promise, Look for new heavens and a new earth. And we look for that new heavens and new earth. What's that? That's the kingdom. In which the saints of the Most High are going to take back, or take, excuse me, by force. That's when the Lord give us that spiritual power, man. And allow us to be in full strength. To take down all the uh, different dominions around the world, man. Take down all the nations, put them in slavery. Go ahead. And exercise our authority under Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Right? That's, that, that's when it'll be time for uh, us to go hunting, you know? In, in its full fruition. Go ahead. Therefore, beloved, seeing that you look for such things, be diligent. Yeah, see, see that you look for such things. So, this is what you're supposed to set your heart on. Your mind. This is what you're supposed to meditate on, man. And I'm supposed to make some drink tonight anyway. Be diligent that you may be found of him in peace, mm. without spot and blameless. Be without spot and blameless, man. <clears throat> without spot and being blameless. And and how do you how do you how do you how do you do that? By just continuing in the work, man. Not going off in the philosophies, not trying to advance above the elders out of your own vain stupidity and pride meditating in the scriptures not being like well i read the bible in and out now i don't need to read it no more and i can yeah <laughs> i know the whole bible that, that's good that's exactly what's going to put you out you know the whole bible man you don't know shit yeah, exactly you don't need to you know the whole bible oh, i'm still going to read it here and there but you know i'm going to go out to other, i'm going to read the 48 books <laughs> i don't even know what the fuck this is called but 48 fucking laws or something like supposedly this Edomite can recite, recite the whole Bible. You're oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You fucking shit. read it with a blindfold on. Look, yeah, and I'm going to say this. I'm going to say this. You can read the Bible back and forth all day long and so-called no Genesis from Revelations, but because you read it doesn't mean you understand. It wisdom get I remember there was a time, <laughs> okay, well, you know, a nigga that I used to know, all right, that so-called was in the truth with me. I said to him the one time, I said, yeah, so um, I read the whole book of Ezekiel. He said, okay, so uh, break it down for me. And I was just like, uh... He goes, yeah, well, you might have read it, but did you understand it? You know? But realistically, no, you know? I didn't understand it, I just read it. So just because you read something doesn't mean you understand something. But that, that, that's a wicked-ass nigga anyway. She don't even understand it. To be, to be telling me I don't understand it. No, but this was years ago. But the point still remains. You know, just because you read something doesn't mean you understand what you're reading. Go ahead. Hence, how shall they know, lest they have a teacher? An account that the long suffering of our Lord is salvation. Mm -hmm. Even as our beloved brother Paul, also according to the wisdom given unto him, hath written unto you. Huh. So, we're just gonna abide in the wisdom in which Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai gave us. Not fucking demons, all right? Not Esau, all right? But the things passed down from our elders, all right? We're gonna remain in the brotherhood and take care of one another. And all you fucking wicked ass niggas that crept in unawares, all right, the Most High is gonna expose you, okay? What's, what, what's done in the dark shall be brought to the light, man. All right? So if you're a fucking CIA agent, all right, and you in a camp, man, the Most High gonna expose you, man. And that ex nigga that was in our camp, we believe, I, I believe him to be a fucking a spy, man. All right? He had a job to do, and now it's over. And even if he isn't, he's still a wicked-ass nigga, all right? 
So with that, we just want to say all praises to Yahweh Shai. All praises to Yahweh Shai. Okay. Uh, all, double honors to the elders of the Great Millstone. Double honors to the elders of the Great Millstone. And honors to all the true and sincere Akim. Honors to all the true and sincere Akim. And death to the two thirds. Death, death to, to the two thirds. thirds. Death to America. Death, death to, to America. Kwam Yashala. Kwam Yashala.